Hey travelers! Today, we are embarking on a journey through France, a country celebrated for its diverse landscapes, rich culture, and historical depth. We're heading beyond Paris and spotlighting five destinations that promise to leave you breathless. We'll be sharing insider tips and tricks for how to get there, where to stay, and how you can plan your unforgettable stay in France. We're the Travel Insiders. From airlines to hotel brands, we've worked inside the travel industry for decades, and we're on a mission to help you travel the world. Let's go and uncover the charm of France. Number one, Mont Saint-Michel. Located in the Normandy region, Mont Saint-Michel is a testament to human ingenuity and the beauty of French heritage. It's a tidal island crowned by a majestic medieval abbey that reaches towards the heavens. This UNESCO World Heritage Site dates back to the 8th century when, according to legend, Archangel Michael appeared in a dream to Saint Aubert, who was the Bishop of Avranches. Archangel Michael asked Saint Aubert to build him a sanctuary. Mont Saint-Michel is the realization of that dream. Visiting here is a journey back in time. It offers a glimpse into medieval life, with winding alleys and ancient architecture. It's a place that invites pilgrims, history buffs, and curious travelers to explore its mysteries. The dramatic ocean tides, which transform the landscape, only add to the island's allure. This place is a must-visit for those seeking wonder, inspiration, and a deep connection with the past. Get there by taking a train from Paris. The connecting journey takes roughly four hours. While you can visit Mont Saint-Michel in a long day trip, we recommend staying overnight on the island or in one of several nearby towns. Also, if you are planning to visit Mont Saint-Michel, consider taking an extra day and renting a car to visit the nearby Normandy D-Day beaches. This key World War II turning point is another impactful historical experience. Number two, Provence. Located in Southeast France, Provence is a tapestry of vibrant colors, intoxicating scents, and timeless landscapes. This region has inspired poets and artists like Vincent van Gogh for centuries and embodies the soul of French countryside charm. It's a place where the air is perfumed with the scent of lavender fields, creating a picturesque scene that seems to stretch into infinity. Beyond its visual allure, Provence is a cultural feast. It's home to ancient Roman ruins, bustling local markets, and quaint hilltop villages. It's a place where you can slow down and savor the joys of simple living, whether that's enjoying a glass of rosé or exploring the artistry of local crafts in sun-drenched markets. To visit Provence, fly into Marseille, airport code MRS, which is easily accessible from many European airports. You can then travel the region by train or, ideally, by rental car. For the perfect two-day taste of Provence, start in Avignon, the medieval city that once served as the seat of the popes. Then drive to the Luberon region, known for its picturesque villages perched atop rolling hills, and visit Gourdes, arguably the most beautiful village in France. The next day, head to Aix-en-Provence, a city known for its thermal hot springs. Continue on to the Valençol Plateau, where the sea of purple flowers against the backdrop of blue skies is the region's iconic image. The lavender fields are at their most beautiful in June and July. Provence is not just a destination. It's an experience that appeals to all five senses. Number three, Loire Valley. Located in central France, the Loire Valley is like stepping into a fairy tale. Often referred to as the Garden of France, it's a testament to human creativity and natural splendor, harmoniously intertwined along the banks of the Loire River. This region is celebrated for its world-renowned chateau, each telling a story of luxury, intrigue, and architectural innovation from the Renaissance and Enlightenment periods. Explore the lavish gardens of Villandry or marvel at the reflections of Chateau de Chenonceau. Uncover the history of Chateau de Chambord with its distinctive French Renaissance architecture. But the Loire Valley's allure extends beyond its castles. A visit here immerses you in the quintessence of French art de vivre, art of living. It's a haven for wine enthusiasts, offering a journey through some of France's most esteemed vineyards. 
It's a perfect place for history buffs, romantic souls, and anyone who dreams of living like royalty, even if just for a day. The Loire Valley is easily accessible from Paris by train or car. Tours or Amboise are central locations that offer charming stays. Whether you're staying in a historic chateau-turned-hotel, a cozy bed and breakfast, or a vineyard estate, the Loire Valley promises a stay that's as memorable as its landscapes. We recommend renting a bike to best enjoy this region's stunning natural beauty. For travelers seeking a blend of history, culture, and the great outdoors, all wrapped in the scenic beauty of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Loire Valley is an unmatched destination. Number 4. Nice Located on the French Riviera in southeastern France, Nice embodies the allure of the Mediterranean lifestyle like no other city. It's framed by the azure waters of the Baie des Anges and rugged hills that offer panoramic vistas. This city captivates with its mix of Italian influence and French elegance, a legacy of its history at the crossroads of empires. The Old Town, Vieux Nice, with its narrow, winding streets, bursts with colors, flavors, and scents from the flower and food markets. Here, life is celebrated daily with a glass of rosé, fresh Niçois salad, and the warmth of the Mediterranean sun. Art enthusiasts will find Nice a haven. It's home to museums dedicated to Marc Chagall and Henri Matisse, reflecting the city's role as a muse to artists who were captivated by its light and landscapes. Nice is also a gateway to other places in the French Riviera. It's the ideal base for exploring the luxury of Monaco, the beauty of Aisy, and the allure of Antibes and Cannes. Nice's international airport, airport code NCE, makes it super accessible from many locations. And the efficient public transportation system can easily take you from the beaches to the hilltops. Accommodation options range from luxurious hotels along the promenade to charming boutique stays in the old town. Nice is a place where every moment is a celebration of the joie de vivre, inviting travelers to immerse themselves in the elegance of Riviera life. Number 5. Annecy Often heralded as the Venice of the Alps, Annecy is a captivating blend of pristine natural beauty and rich historical charm nestled in the heart of the French Alps. This enchanting city is cradled by the crystal clear Lake Annecy, reputed to be Europe's cleanest lake, and is framed by the majestic peaks that offer both a stunning backdrop and a playground for nature enthusiasts. The old town, with its medieval architecture, is a treasure trove of history. The Palais de Lille, an iconic 12th century prison set on a canal, is testament to the city's rich past. Annecy is a peaceful retreat that offers both relaxation and adventure, with activities ranging from paddleboarding to exploring the local heritage. The lake's bike path offers a scenic route for cyclists, providing a leisurely means to explore the breathtaking landscapes that surround the city. Get there by flying to Geneva, Switzerland, airport code GVA. From there, Annecy is just a short car or bus ride away. Accommodations in Annecy range from charming boutique hotels within the Old Town to lakeside retreats that offer stunning views and tranquility. Annecy is a place for those seeking to explore enchanting landscapes, enjoy outdoor adventures, and dive into the cultural richness of one of France's most picturesque cities. Okay, travelers, we've journeyed through five of the most beautiful places in France. These five locations not only showcase France's geographical diversity, but also its historical richness and cultural vibrancy. But there are so many more. Our best advice for visiting France is to select and focus on a particular region, then rent a car to truly explore both the tourist spots and the hidden gems. Take your time and soak it in. Here's another video we think you'll love. Remember to like and subscribe for more travel tips and inspiration. Happy travels!